like to go fast, but I want to keep my license. So we want to go fast. So the RISA want to go fast um, event this weekend in Ocala, Florida. So let's get ready to go fast. We have to fill out the tech inspection sheet, which I've gone over the car thoroughly and used to do tech inspection for some autocross events, so I'm kind of familiar with the teching. I'm probably more severe in my car than anybody else, but I only have about 7,000 miles in my car, but so it's really in pretty good shape. So here's the tech sheet that's all ready to go, and this is my uh, driver's want to go fast um, half mile shootout, which is me the driver, and all the information 2017 Z06 Corvette, yada yada yada. Car is absolutely bone stock. The only thing I've done to the car is an air filter, and that's it. Everything else is, I don't have the uh, cup tires or anything else. Straight stock tires, straight stock everything else. We'll see how she goes. So we're getting ready and then we have to go to a meeting, a driver's meeting, get our numbers and everything else. And then Saturday morning, we'll make the ride to Ocala, which is about 45 minutes from my house here. And let's go uh, and run the car and see how it goes. We just arrived at the Hilton in Ocala. We're pre-driving meeting here Friday night before tomorrow's go at the Want to Go Fast competition. So go in and let's see what's going on. Checking for Want to Go Fast right here. T-shirts and all. Lots of people starting to check in, getting busy. Go for a swim if you want. Very nice. So that's it, I'm all checked in, ready for tomorrow, and we'll be done with it. This would be a nice ride to take home, but I think it would take me a while to get there. <laughs> what a beautiful sight here in the front area of the Hilton Hotel, the beautiful horse. It really looks nice, a handsome dude. Hi. <laughs> looks nice. Looks nice, yep. Here we are, ready to take somebody for a nice ride tonight. Just got back from Ocala, the Hilton in Ocala. Checked all in for tomorrow morning and uh, gonna get a good night's sleep and be ready to rock and roll tomorrow. Got my two stickers I need. It's my tech inspection sticker, everyone all checks out. That's this one right here. It's gotta go up here in my driver's side window like that and this is my uh, my number and you can see on the, up in the right hand corner it says Saturday which is tomorrow morning and that's gonna go right in the center of my windshield like that so I'm gonna put those two puppies on and we'll be all set for tomorrow hopefully uh, a little go fast oh by the way oh I almost forgot to tell you I bought, went out and bought two uh, aftermarket pieces that are with uh, 25 to 50 more horsepower. See these right here? Guaranteed. I've been guaranteed 50 more horsepower. Well, 25 for that one, and I got one on the other side too, if you can see that or not. I got one on the other side. So let me zoom in on that a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's the other one. And they tell me that's worth 25 horsepower, uh, 50 total. I got one. Of, I got one on this side, and then I got one on this side. So they're figuring uh, I'll pick up an extra 50 horsepower. So, <laughs> uh, about seven o'clock in the morning, and we've arrived at uh, the site. A lot of parking down here, and cars uh, all around. So, uh, people getting ready. Took a walk out here to the track, and uh, here's where they line up on either side. And the view is a half mile that away. Turning around from here, tech, all the advertisers over there, vendors. There's a whole big field of them over there, and 
Guys are already lined up. It's uh, a little after 7 o'clock. They don't start running till 9. They're already over there, ready to go. That's too funny. They're anxious. Get some runs in. Should be fun. Yeah, this is a tech inspection over here. And they have the speakers over here. And I think they have lights. They did have lights before. Oh, there they are over there. The lights over there. Bell to show the times, the half mile times. So over here in the vendor section, Vengeance Racing. Let's see what's going on here. Some serious, some serious vehicles here. Camaros, Corvettes, you name it. Very interesting. Just have a group meeting this morning. A little more serious. This car goes pretty fast. I've seen this one before. Viper over here. Interesting Viper. It's running today. Some more vengeance racing. Boy, they got a lot of cars here. A lot of cars. A lot of ZL6s. <laughs> Looking over some of the cars here. Got a driver's meeting we're going to now. Guy from Florida got a beautiful McLaren 720S talking to him. What a beautiful car. That car is gorgeous. Uh, a yellow one over here. Nice. A lot of beautiful cars here. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's got his tape on. Didn't get any things here. This Viper, white one. Dodge, beautiful Porsche 911 Turbo S. That should go pretty good. So. All right, we're gonna wait a couple more minutes. We have the driver still checking in, so we're gonna do the driver's meeting at a few continues. Thank you for the driver's meeting. We've got a couple more continues to turn in. We're going to visit. They're very easy to read once you get down there. When you're finished, You'll follow the yellow cones, will end at a certain point, and then you'll do a U-turn, and that's the return road. A little parade lap here. So you see we can get a good view of it. Get a good look at what it looks like. they do is they give us a parade lap before we even go out so I gotta get a you know you get a feel for what it looks like out here the track looks great looks nice and clean and the finish line is says so brakes over there to the right so I think the uh, timing is right here boom and then you hit your brakes here and then you go all the way down to the end take a left and circle back now we're gonna see the last two videos, one's outside the car and one's inside the car. Uh, it's the only run I make at the event. I want to thank Want to Go Fast for a great event, well organized, 
had a couple of problems on the track which shut down the running for an hour or so. Lunch break was an hour. And so uh, there was some downtime, but uh, still very well managed and well run event. Uh, and I will be back again. Uh, the problem I had was that the check engine light came on and the car went into limp mode uh, about halfway down the run. I think it might be the air cleaner, I don't know. Uh, it could be something else, I don't know. Uh, we're taking it to Chevy Lee, Chevrolet dealership to have them look at it and then um, we'll go from there. But right now I don't have any answers, but I'm going to show you what happened. And if you have any ideas or thoughts about what happened, um, post them. Also want to thank Dave at Vengeance Racing and Performance. I went over to see somebody who could maybe put the scan tool on my car and find out what's wrong with it. Dave said, bring it over. Puts the scan tool on it, Dave does, and uh, comes up with... Um, could be something in the exhaust system. He asked me if I had an aftermarket exhaust or not, and I don't. So, it's got to be something else. Uh, but anyway, cleared everything out and uh, got out of lump mode, and the uh, check engine light's gone, so I'll be able to drive the car home, not in lump mode. Uh, and many thanks to the people at Vengeance. Uh, very, very nice, very helpful, uh, and I appreciate the fact that, you know, the whole event's going on, they got cars in the event and everything else, and they took the time to help me out. So thank you very much. Dave, you're the man. Okay, let's go watch the videos. If you all are enjoying yourself today, you have a few, we have a few people to thank. Our uh, top sponsors of today, Top Speed Motorsports and Vengeance Racing. You can see Vengeance Racing, Top Speed, they, they're out here with us today. Make sure to come check out their booth. It's gone. Nice spot. Okay, we're on the starting line. Hope this is showing enough. What the fuck was that? I got a check engine light too. What the heck?